everyone i am pooji i am a new major resuscitation nurse today i am going to demonstrate about how to perform neonatal resuscitation before starting neonatal resuscitation procedure we should arrange our tray in our tray first every boy check the vital of the every boy in late and vacuum by this so this is working foot after that we have stethoscope for auscultation of heart rate a vital cord clamp for clamping the cord iv cannula 24 cords for administrating the drugs laryngoscope with the blade 0 for feet up 1 for dumb baby and the tracheal tube 2.5 mm 3 mm 2.5 mm for feet up 3 mm for dumb baby so emergency drugs adrenaline adrenaline injection we should prepare first in this we should load 9 ml of ns and 1 ml of adrenaline injection we should label the injection adrenaline with the dilution 1 ratio 10000 and after 24 hours we should discard the injection adrenaline if we don't don't use the injection gloves suction catheter for suction and we should have two towel for first to receive the baby and dry the baby after that second towel for wrapping the baby roller piece for providing the position for newborn so after arranging all the articles at the table we should receive the newborn the newborns which we receive have a bar score less than 3 and 3 so after receiving the newborn we should place the newborn in the radiant warmer for Warming the baby and maintaining the temperature of the baby. Here I am going to demonstrate about how to perform neonatal resuscitation procedure. Okay. So first, provide the position to the baby. Place the roller piece under the shoulder. Elevate the head. This position is called as sniffing position. Okay. After providing the position, check the airway of the baby. If the airway is not patent, then suction the baby airway first, mouth का, then nose का. Mouth में करेंगे oropharyngeal suction tube should be insert three to five centimeter and nose pharyngeal one to two centimeter. Not greater than one to two centimeter because if we insert the suction tube more than one to two centimeter through nose pharyngeal, it stimulates the vagus nerve. You know vagus nerve? Yes. Okay. Vagus nerve stimulate, then it causes bradycardia, which leads to the heart rate down of the baby. Okay, clear? Yes. After that, provide stimulation to the baby, like that. Repeat the toe. After that, rub the baby back four to five times, like that. After that, stimulate the extremities. Again, we position the baby. So, if the baby's chest rises, then we should refer for the routine care. If the baby's chest not rises, then provide positive pressure ventilation through the ambu bag. Place the ambu bag, cover the mouth and nose. Then provide breathing. One, two, three. Four, five. Repeat the cycle for thirty seconds. Five times. One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. If the chest rise, assist for the chest rise. If the chest rise spontaneously, then refer for the routine care. If the chest is do does not rise, then start again the breathing. One, two. Three, four, five. If the heart rate of the baby greater than hundred beats per minute, then refer for the routine care. If the heart rate of the baby is less than sixty beats per minute, then start the compression. The ratio for the compression is units three ratio one. One, two, three. Then provide B. This cycle should be repeated for five to seven times.
again assess for the heart rate if the heart rate is greater than 100 beat per minute then refer to the routine here if the heart rate less than 60 beat per minute then we should intubate the baby for intubation we have laryngoscope intubation tube 2.5 mm for the preterm baby. And administer the admin injection for the umbilical cord. Assess again for the heart rate of the baby. If the heart rate is greater than 60 beat per minute, then, then provide the ventilation through the mechanical ventilation and shift the baby to the NIC. And after completing the procedure, document the procedure and sign the procedure.